Okay, so what is machine learning? As we are as we are surrounded by humans who can learn everything from their experiences with their learning capability. And we have computers or machines which work on our instructions. But can a machine also learn from experiences or past data like a human does? So here's the role of the machine learning. So machine learning enables a machine to automatically learn from data, improves performance from experiences, and predict output without being programmed. Okay. So and for example, is if uh speech and image recognition, traffic alerts using Google Maps, chatbot, Google translation, self-driving cars, etc. So how does a machine learning work? A machine learning system learns from historical data, builds the prediction models, and whenever it receives new data, predicts uh, it predicts the output for it. Okay, means the accuracy of predicted output depends upon the data upon uh, upon the amount of data. Okay, as the huge amount of data helps to build build a better model. Okay, which predicts the output more accurately. Then suppose we have a problem, a complex problem, let's say, okay, where we need to perform some predictions. So instead of writing a code for it, we need just we just we just need to feed uh, the data to generate algorithms, and with the help of these algorithms, machine builds the logic as per the data and predicts the output. Okay, so machine learning has changed our way. Or thinking about the problem. Okay, then we have classification of machine learning algorithms. So we have three types of algorithms: supervised learning, unsupervised algorithm, and reinforcement. So supervised learning. In supervised learning, it is a type of machine learning methods in which we provide sample driven data to the machine. Okay, and uh, uh, it will train it. And on the on on that basis, it predicts the output. Okay, for example, see this figure. First, we provide apples and banana. Okay, then we use algorithm to train it. Then it predicts the output. So in supervised learning, we train the data by giving labeled data. Okay, then ah uh, supervised learning can be grouped further into two categories of algorithms like classification and regression. Classif uh, classification prediction classification algorithm involves prediction of discrete values like uh, categorical data like uh, dogs, cats, fruits, etc. And regression model uh, involves prediction of continuous value like one, two, three, four, five, etc. Okay, so it involves continuous value. Then we have unsupervised learning. So, unsupervised learning is a learning method in which a machine learns with ah uh, without any supervision. Okay, means means we give raw data or unlabeled data ah uh, to the model, and on the basis of it, it predicts the output. Okay, suppose see this figure, we give input raw data, and and then our algorithm in, interprets and process it, and and gives the prediction. Ah, uh, predicted output. Okay, it ah uh, uh, it can be further classified into two categories of algorithms like clustering and association. So clustering ah uh, it is a process of dividing a huge amount of huge number of items into smaller groups which share similar char characteristics. Okay, like uh, dividing fruits ah uh, which are of same color. Then we have association. It is a process of measuring the degree of association. Okay, ah, uh, between two items, like uh, how ah uh, how two items are similar to each other. Then we have reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is a feedback based ah uh, learning method, in which a learning agent gets a reward for each right action and gets a penalty for each wrong action. Okay, so the agent learns automatically with the with ah uh, with these feedbacks and improves its ah uh, its performance. So in reinforcement learning, the agent interacts with the environment and explores it. Okay, so it is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to behave in an environment 
by performing actions and see the results. Okay, then we have applications of machine learning, social media features. Okay, then product recommendations, image recognition, sentimental analysis, etc. 